Okay, so here we have S1, June 2013, the legacy paper, the old um, GC at Excel papers, not the IAL one. Um, the R paper, I think that's, that means a replacement paper. Okay, so um, this is the R paper, and this year they had a normal paper and they had an R paper. Okay, this is a question that's been asked from the R paper, and the question that's been asked is part E, after the other parts have been done. Um, basically, what we need from the earlier parts is the mean and the standard deviation. The mean was 10.8 kilograms, and the standard deviation was 7.46 kilograms. And the question tells you that est tells you to estimate the number of tomato plants in the sample. This is all about 70 tomato plants. So the number of tomato plants in the sample that have a yield of more than one standard deviation above the mean. Well, so we want the the yield, okay, to be greater than more than one standard deviation above the mean. Well, the mean is 10.8. And the standard deviation is 7.46. So 10.8 7, plus 7.46 should give you, okay, that, that would be one, that's one standard deviation above the mean. Okay, so we have 10.8 plus 7.46. That gives you um, 18.26. Okay, so you're trying to find why you're trying to find the number of tomato plants where the yield is greater than 18.26. 18.26. Okay, so that's what we're trying to find. Now, 18.26. The yield has to be more than 18.26. Now, we can see that there's between... Um, more than 25, up to 25 to 35, there are four plants. Okay, definitely those are more than 18.26. Now, we've got to work out how many of the plants in this particular um, category are more than 18.26. Okay, so if we look, do some, we can do some linear interpolation here as well. Okay, so we know that the yield 15 up to 25. Okay, all together in this section we have 12. There are 12 plants between 15 and 25 yield. All right, we want to find how many how many plants have a yield more than 18.26. So we're trying to find um, the number in this section here. Okay, that's what we're trying to find. How many numbers? How many? How many in this section here? Okay, so we can kind of do kind of like a reverse of linear interpolation that we did before. Okay, we're trying to find what proportion this is of the whole thing. Okay, so what proportion is this of the whole thing? Well, you got 25 minus 18.26, okay, divided by 10, okay, because that's a gap percent. It's kind of the reverse of the reverse of uh, what we normally do in linear interpolation. Normally we're trying to find something up here. Now we're trying to find the number down here. So we can see that that number here is is kind of proportional. That number is proportional to that, that number divided by that number. So x divided by 12 will be the same as this divided by 10. Okay? So you can see that you've got 25 minus 18.26 divided by 10 times 12. That will tell you the proportion in this section here, which we're going to add to the 4. So you're going to have 4 plus that. That will tell you the number of items which are more than 18.26. So let's see if that works. So you've got um, 25 minus 18.26, okay, which is 6.74, divided by 10, and multiplied by 12. Okay, so that's how many are in this group here, which are more than 18. So it's 8.088 plus 4. That gives you 12.088. 12.088. So you can say you can estimate that there are 12, okay, plants. So you can say, let's write it here, 12, 12 
12 plants have a yield. Okay, more than one standard deviation above the mean. Okay, and there's one, sir. So. 